I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. So dear, what are we making today? I am making chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Mm -hmm. And we have a new toy. Yep. And it's one of these guys. Is this actually what it's called? Power pressure cooker? Yeah. There's no like real name to it. As seen on TV. So we are going to make <laughs> this puppy. So since we're not really soup makers, are we? No. <laughs> we are going to attempt to make chicken noodle soup. So we got our chicken and we got celery and onions, carrots, and what kind of noodles are those called? They're just egg noodles. Egg noodles. And, and then some basil, some oregano, salt and pepper. Sweet. And garlic. I haven't got out yet. Yeah. So we'll tell you how it comes out because we we've never really made a soup like this before. No, I've, I've never really made soup before, so we'll see how it comes out. Cool. All right. Well, we'll let you know how it comes out, guys. Okay. So Sherry was explaining to me, and I thought it was kind of interesting, how we're going to deal with this new pressure cooker here. So tell me the process again. So since I've never done this, I actually went and watched some YouTube videos, and but I'm using a recipe that is not for the pressure cooker, but I think the concepts are pretty much the same. So what I'm going to do is, I don't have any um, olive oil with me, so I'm just going to use some, some butter and put it in here and just sizzle the chicken just slightly. Yeah. And then I'll pull it out and with the remaining butter or olive oil that's in the crock pot, and I will put in the vegetables and lightly saute them. Yeah. And then it's just a matter of throwing all your ingredients in and letting it cook. Sweet. I am looking forward to some homemade chicken soup. So yeah. Anyway, so this is all new to us and, and this is new for us to use this uh, pressure cooker even though we're not using it as a pressure cooker. Yeah, we are using it as a pressure cooker. Oh, we are? Yes. Oh. But it, the pressure cooker infuses, helps to infuse all the flavors into everything, into the meat and the noodles and the veggies and stuff. So. It's supposed to help bring out the flavors. Oh, cool. All right. Well, we'll see how we go here. I'll tie in with you as we move along here. So what have you done so far? So I put my uh, olive oil, some garlic, and my onions and celery and carrots in there and let them saute for a few minutes until they were translucent. Mm -hmm. Added my cut up chicken, and now I'm adding half a teaspoon of basil and half a teaspoon of oregano, my noodles, my chicken broth, and then we'll close it up. So how long, how long does it usually take to cook? I think it's like 10 minutes once it gets up to speed. Yeah. So it's not like it takes very, very long. And it's salt and pepper to taste. God, I wish this video could... Uh, let you smell how it smells really good. Alrighty, we're almost there. So you're going to be adding the chicken broth and the noodles pretty soon, right? Yep. Well, adding the noodles right now. Alrighty. Chicken broth. Chicken broth. And we'll let you know how it comes out. Okay, so you lock the lid down. Yep. And what's it what's it doing now? It's getting up to temperature and pressurizing. Huh? And it cooks in like ten minutes? For the soup, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Alrighty, well we'll see how things come out. Alright, so it's about oh half hour ago that we started all this. And this thing says it's done. So the first thing on a pressure cooker is what do you got to do? I got to release the pressure. Oh, okay. And because this is right now sitting fairly close to my cabinets, I want to move it away slightly. Um, so I'm actually going to turn it around here. They say the steam is won't hurt anything, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Yeah. 
So right now, this is a steamer valve that is in a closed position and I'm going to move it to an open position. You can't open the lid until that steam's gone anywhere, right? No, I cannot. So it does have safety measures in it, so you cannot take the top off until you release the pressure. Right. Now they don't recommend you reach over and touch that. Use some uh, thong, tongs or something to do that with. So I'm not going to take any chances. So I'm just going to move it over one, one slight position. Pretty impressive. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop this for a minute until we're done. So basically, we're just taking all the pressure out, and you can't even open the lid anyway until it's gone. Right. All right. They say this isn't hot, so I'm not gonna go down further, but it's, yeah. it's just mildly warm. Okay. All right. So the steam's all gone. So what's gonna happen now? We're going to open it and see what it looks like. All right. Crossing our fingers. Yep. Smells good in here. Oh my God. That looks yummy. Chicken soup. Nice. All right. Now it comes down to the taste test, huh? Taste test is next. So, we're here for the final judgment of the soup. It smells awesome. Yeah, it looks nice and thick and nice and healthy. <laughs> and here we go. Try our first bite. I like about it. Usually you get soup like this is really salty and so ours is lightly salted. Yeah I used a, uh, the sodium, reduced sodium in the chicken broth. Yeah so it's not so salty. Right. So, it's really awesome. What would you do different? Add more salt. <laughs> Probably should have the salt. No, for me it's fine, but you can add salt to your taste and stuff at this point. Yeah, actually, we are trying to kind of cut down on the salt and stuff so we can get used to it, but as far as all the flavors of the food is awesome, so that was a, that recipe worked out great. So. It didn't take long. Nope. Anyway, so our soup successful. Hope you guys can uh, get a chance to get one of those pressure cookers. Uh, we're really happy we got ours. That was our very first test. And uh, we got our pressure cooker at Target. Right. It was like $99. Yeah. We got the smaller one because it's just two of us. Yeah. So there's an eight quart and a six quart. And we, we got, got the, the six test. quart. Yeah. So uh, down below I'll put a link to uh, Amazon where you can get the pressure cooker. Um, it worked really good and it cooked fast. And all the Oh, and the chicken we used was some chicken that we thought wasn't very tender. Um, chicken breast and so we wanted to get something that would break it down and actually the chicken's really tender now so yeah. it's perfect so for tenderizing meat using even off cuts a little bit we hear the pressure cooker is really good for that right. so anyway thanks for watching I'm Rob I'm Sherry we'll talk to you later bye. bye hey thanks for watching our videos please take the time to like and subscribe to our videos to see our future shows also next to me is a few of our more popular shows. Thanks for watching.